Fear crept through her veins as the thoughts of confrontation dressed her body. Her shoulders began to hunch up and turn inwards as if to protect her from the monster that she knew was ever waiting for her. Hello, welcome to In My Words. The book I am reading from is titled The Monster We Call Dad by D. A. Riles. This book is not intended for young readers. After each reading session, I will briefly give information about a chosen plant. I hope through my words you will gain insight, knowledge, and a deeper appreciation and understanding of this mysterious and intricate world. Though the road may be long and hard, compassion and beauty can be gained through the enjoyment of nature and experiencing its wondrous gifts. Thank you for joining me. For three days, Sarah walked around the house without saying a word not speaking unless spoken to, and then barely in a whisper. She didn't cry. She didn't talk. She didn't play. She stayed within her own little world. No pain, no fear, no nothing. She was empty inside. Joy had been taken away from her life. Her youth was gone. Disillusionment filled her soul. Would she ever be able to experience true happiness? Living in a world of untrustworthy, uncaring people, Sarah quickly learned how to make her life become a facade. Being so young, she tried very hard to make her reactions on par with the emotions which she was feeling. However, throughout her life, Sarah would continually struggle with choosing the correct words to go with her actions. At times, she would even look guilty when she had done nothing wrong. Perhaps someday she would figure it out. Jane noticed Sarah's strange behavior during the three days of the young child's silence. In the beginning, she wasn't overly concerned, for she felt that her daughter could sometimes be too sensitive to the events which took place around her. Finally, she decided that Sarah might have some sort of injury, which she wasn't aware of. Feeling worried about her young daughter's lack of emotion and solemnness, Jane walked over to the dark room where Thomas processed photos he would take. Standing before the door, her thoughts turned to what was behind it. Fear crept through her veins as the thoughts of confrontation dressed her body. Her shoulders began to hunch up and turn inwards as if to protect her from the monster that she knew was ever waiting for her. Wrapping lightly, Jane waited for the door to open. Thomas made a special room for a hobby that he had hoped would someday become a profession. He called the room his dark room. He enjoyed taking nature photos and pictures of people, especially his family. This is where he was able to privately process any of the nude photos of his wife. Thomas had a D2 photo enlarger, so he would be able to enlarge any picture he wanted. He could also make slides of the subjects. He enjoyed making slideshows for friends and family to watch, for then he was able to show everyone how perfect his family and life were. In the small room, there were anywhere from three to eight developing trays that processed film. A clothesline was hung above the solutions, and clothespins held the drying photographs in place. It could take up to eight hours for the photos to dry. Thomas was very picky with the temperature of the room. It was important that the temperature of the solutions not vary by more than one half of a degree, otherwise the pictures would be ruined. Never did he want to be bothered when he was in this room, for it might completely ruin all of that which he had worked on. Developing the film and watching as the images form upon the smooth white surface interested Thomas. He liked the way people and nature took on color. He also liked how he could manipulate photographed images by using different tones, including black and white, playing with and enhancing the photos to take on almost any look he wanted. From one tray to another, the image would become more enhanced. The dark and light would become more bold or muted. The blues, reds, and yellows would deepen and become richer. The smell of the solutions was something the family became accustomed to. After Thomas finished with the solutions, he would open the small window, which he had blocked out with plastic, and allowed the air to enter in. Then he would take the trays to the basement and wash them out. Well, 
For today, I am going to highlight chamomile and basil. Today's highlighted plant is basil. Basil is considered an herb. It is used in many food dishes for flavoring. There are numerous varieties of basil. In these images that I took with my camera, you will note how small the plant is at this point in its growth. These seedlings were planted 45 days ago. For me, I find that it grows very slow in my indoor area where I have it situated. I like to start my own basil plants, for then I can grow some very unusual varieties that I have never found in stores. For some people, their basil will grow more quickly. I don't have the necessary lighting situations in order to improve the growth rate of my basil. That is why mine grows so slowly. Basil comes in three different colors, ranging from light green to green, and there is purple basil. The basil leaves are edible and can be frozen or dehydrated for longer storage. People have used basil as an insect repellent. It has been used medicinally to ease pain and help with headache relief along with easing vomiting. I have never used this plant like the examples I just stated, but as always, do your own research before using any plant medicinally. Basil can also be preserved by packing it into jars with salt and olive oil. I don't know the exact recipe, nor have I ever tried it. However, if you are interested in preserving your basil that way, please find the appropriate instructions to help you achieve your desired results. Basil leaves can grow up to four inches long. They have a smooth, shiny uh, surface. They are very aromatic. When basil goes to seed, the flowers of the plant are white. In warm areas, you can grow basil nearly year-round. However, in cooler areas, the plant will die back. And if you have it covered or if your zone does not become overly cold, such as my area where we have snow and 35 or 40 below zero here, um, my, my plants don't overwinter. Even with protection, it doesn't work for me. Perhaps it does for others. I don't know. I don't have that experience. So for today, the highlighted plant was basil. Today's highlighted plant is chamomile. Chamomile is an herb. People use it for tea. Chamomile is said to help promote a sense of calmness and aids in sleep. Chamomile has a mild flavor and a very pleasing aroma. Flower petals are white with a yellow center. The plant is very delicate looking and when established in a yard or garden, even though it is considered an annual, it will continue to grow year after year for itself seeds easily. The whole plant is usable for different purposes. As always, do your own research before consuming any unknown plant and know its different uses and dosages. Chamomile can be found growing in many people's yards and is sometimes called apple chamomile or pineapple chamomile. Some of the reported uses for this herb are as follows. It is said to help ease nervous tension, stimulate the appetite, cleanse blood. It is also used in hair rinses and lotions for the eyes. Chamomile is used in numerous cosmetics. Even from this short list, you can tell that it is quite a versatile plant. Chamomile can be grown in zones three and above where it will overwinter. Chamomile generally prefers full sun. Some people use chamomile as a ground cover. You can mow this amazing plant and you can walk on it as you do your lawn. Some people even use it for a lawn. It is fast spreading, but I have never found it to overtake our yard or any place that it has been planted. So I personally don't feel it is invasive. The little seeds that come from the chamomiles, birds will love to eat those, along with rabbits and other animals that enjoy seeds. This plant does do well in dry seasons. 
I wouldn't recommend it being constantly dry for it does need some moisture, but not as much as other herbs. Today's plant was the chamomile. Thank you for listening to these two herbs. I hope you enjoyed today's special of two different plants, chamomile and basil. Please like, share, and subscribe. I look forward to having you join me again next time where I will highlight another plant and I will continue to read from the book titled The Monster We Call Dad by D.A. Riles, which you can purchase from Amazon.com. Thank you for having joined me.